To create a new composite with Team Photo Composite, you have to select at the main menu File New Composite. Then you have to input a name for your composite, for your project, and now you have to input the dimensions of the composite. First, select the units to be used between inches and centimeter, and then the width and the height, and also the resolution. Or you may simply drag a background with an already predefined size into this rectangle here. If you have checked Apply Background Size to Composite, the composite fields will generate the size of this background. Each time you create a new composite, it will remember the settings of the last one you have created. And therefore, it will propose the same background. If you don't want to have a background in your composite, just click at the trash icon at the bottom and it will be empty. Now click at OK. And the main design area of Team Photo Composite will show you the background. To reopen a composite already made, you have to select File, Open Composite, and select the file. Please notice that ex the extensions, the project extensions of Team Photo Composite are TPC. Click at Open, and it will reopen this composite. You may also select one of the recent composites list, or Directly at Finder or if you are using Windows, you may simply click, double click at uh, one of the files and it will be open in Team Photo Composite. To save a composite, please use the main menu file Save or if you want to rename it, you may use Save As and give it another name. TPC3. This is an easy way to reuse the settings for a previously made composite. You may remove players by using this icon at the toolbar. This will remove all players in the composite, but not the clipparts and not the, the background. Or you may, may use the other option, this one, the X, which will remove also the clipart, but background will never be removed.